Mary wakes up early, and gets ready for her first day at school, her uncle Frank prepares the breakfast, but he isn't her uncle only, he is her father too, and he raises her after Mary's mother died when she was young, but Mary is upset and doesn't want to go to school, because she feels that she doesn't need to go to school, plus, she doesn't like to treat people, but her uncle tells her that she must go to school, after that, Mary takes the bus to school. In the first class, a math teacher Bonnie is teaching the kids to add and subtract. Meantime, Mary gets bored because the teacher teaches children very simple equations. But Bonnie is annoyed by Mary's impolite behavior and tells Mary to raise her hand before she talks. After that, Bonnie asks her some hard questions. But surprisingly, Mary answers the questions although her young age. Then, Bonnie asks her another question to multiply a large number in math. Although students use a calculator to answer this question, they don't get the answer. Also, Mary is late in answering. And because of that, Bonnie thinks that Mary doesn't know the answer, then completes the lesson. Suddenly, Mary answers her with the result. Bonnie surprises by her and she can't speak. By that time, Bonnie calculates the numbers, and is surprised when she knows that Mary answers right. Meanwhile, the headmistress of the school welcomes the new students. But Mary speaks to her in an impolite way, and talks with her like a teenager. Mary then tells the headmistress to call Frank to take her from this place. After a while, her uncle comes and takes her home. When Bonnie sees Frank, she knows that he goes to a bar every Friday. Also, she knows that he is emotionally devastated. Bonnie goes to Frank to talk to him, and they get to know each other. He says sorry to her for Mary's behavior, and tells her that she is nervous because it is her first day of school. But Bonnie tells him that she doesn't want to talk to him about the girl's behavior. She tells him that she feels that Mary is talented, and she answers difficult questions for her age. Frank tells her that Mary learned how to solve mathematical solutions in a way that was used in the camps in the past without a calculator. And he asks her not to be surprised because he learned this trick while he was eight years ago. Frank then goes with Mary to home. By the way, he is a machinist repairing boats in the port and talks to Mary that she broke her promise. They make a deal not to show off her intelligence before the rest of the kids and teachers because he wants to make them treat her like a normal child. Mary then says sorry to him. After a while, they go to the boat at sea together. And Mary plays on the beach with her cat. Day by day, Mary goes to school and tries to deal with the other kids. Today, Mary has an exam. Bonnie gives the students the papers for the exam. Once she gives the students the papers, Mary tells her that she finishes the exam. But Bonnie isn't surprised. After that, Bonnie gives her an exam at the level of a university student. She wants to know Mary's level, and whether she can solve this or not. Surprisingly, Mary finishes the exam without any problems, and looks at the teacher with a confident look. After class, Bonnie goes to look for Mary's family name. She finds out that her mother is Diane, a very popular mathematician, and has a great name in her field because she solved difficult equations the entire world didn't know how to solve them. But she knows that Mary's mom committed suicide for an unknown reason and died. After that, her uncle Frank raised her. Bonnie goes to the bar where Frank is staying, and meets him there. She tells him that she wants to know the truth about Mary, and shows him the exam, that Mary answered it. Frank tells her that a long time ago, he had a date. But his sister, Mary's mother, wanted to tell him something. He told her when he comes back, they would talk. But when he came back from the date, found Mary alone on the couch, and his sister had committed suicide in the bathroom. He then says that Mary's father abandoned his family from the days when Mary was young, and says that from that day, Mary's behavior changed. But Bonnie tells him that Mary is really a genius. Frank says he knows that, but he doesn't want anyone to know, to treat her like any student. The next day, Mary is on the bus, and they all have a project about animals. While all of the students have a design for their work, there is a child walking with his project. But a bullying child falls him, and he breaks his project. Mary is angry, so she hits the bullying child with a big book in his face, and makes him bleed. Later, Frank gets called out because of what Mary did, and he goes to the headmistress. She tells him that she knows that Mary is a genius, and she can give her a free scholarship to the Oaks Academy for gifted children. But Frank tells her that his family had a lot of problems with the Oaks math schools, and he doesn't want Mary to suffer the same as his family. He then tells her that he won't agree with this scholarship. 
The next day, Mary says sorry to all kids for what she did, and tells them that she won't hit anyone again. After that, she makes the whole class claps for the child who owns the broken project, and says that he was the best one of them all. Then, Frank takes her home, to meet her grandma, Evelyn, and this is the first time Mary sees her. Meantime, her grandma gives Mary an expensive laptop, and says that there is a mathematics book on this laptop. But Mary tells her that she read this book a long time ago, and she is on a higher level now. After a while, Evelyn goes with Frank. He tells her that he knows that the headmistress called her, and made her come. Then asks her, why she comes to see her granddaughter for the first time in seven years. Meantime, Evelyn tells him, that this isn't the time or the right place for her to tell him, and tells him that the place where they live isn't suitable for them. Evelyn then walks, because he doesn't reply to her. Frank enters the house, and finds Mary reading a math book on her new laptop. But he thinks of something and goes to Evelyn again. He tells her that his sister Diane wrote on the suicide note that no one should let Mary live with her grandma, and she wants Mary to live a normal life. But Evelyn tells him, she can provide Mary with a luxurious life. Frank stops her and he says, that she wants Mary to live her life among mathematicians, and he will not let it happen. At this moment, Evelyn is so nervous, and asks him to think good in Mary's life, or she'll file a case to get custody of her. One day, Frank works in the house, and finds Mary studying a math book all the time. He asks her to go out, but she prefers staying at home to studying. So, Frank makes her go out by force, because he doesn't want her to be introverted. After a while, it's the first time that Evelyn files against Frank for custody of Mary. The session ends with an appeal on another day, after examining the place where Mary lives. And this is because Evelyn's lawyer claims that Mary lives with her uncle in an unsuitable home. Frank then asks Roberta, their neighbor, to take Mary over tonight. Roberta is like Mary's mom and loves her very much. Meanwhile, Frank is at the bar and meets Bonnie there. She tells him that she is sad when she knows about Mary's custody case, and she knows that she will find him here. They then sit together talking all night. Meanwhile, Bonnie asks him, what are you most afraid of? But it is clear he is depressed because he is afraid of losing Mary. And then, they start liking each other and they go to Frank's house. At this time, Bonnie feels guilty to stay with the guardian of her student alone. On the second day, Mary leaves Roberta's house and goes to see Frank, but finds her teacher there and looks at Bonnie with a smile. Bonnie is so embarrassed and walks quickly. Frank talks nervously with Mary, and he is shouting her, because she left Roberta's house without asking him. He blames her because she embarrassed him, and tells her that he can't take five minutes to himself because of her. So, Mary is crying and enters her room, but after a while, Frank says sorry to her for what happened. And then, Frank gets a letter from the court. The court asks him that Mary must go to her grandma for two days. Mary travels to her grandma Evelyn, and she shows Mary photos of her mom Diane. Meanwhile, Bonnie is talking to Frank, and tells him that she is afraid of kicking out of the school, because of what she did. The next day, Evelyn takes Mary to the university, and she shows Mary a wall of honor with seven blank photos, except for one. These pictures are for the people who solved the seven most difficult mathematical equations in history. Then, she shows her a photo of an equation called Navier-Stokes, with the name Diane under it. And it is under Diane's name, because she was about to solve it, but she died. She then tells Mary if Diane solved it, she would have received the Nobel Prize in Physics and Mathematics. After all of this, Mary tells her that her photo will one day be on this wall of honor. Then, Evelyn takes her to a mathematician, and she makes Mary try to solve a difficult equation. But Mary does not know how to solve it, because she is so stressed. At this time, Evelyn gets mad at the mathematician because he confuses Mary to solve the equation quickly, and they then walk. But Mary tells her on their way, that there is a mistake in the equation. So, Evelyn comes back to the mathematician, and after some time, Mary corrects an equation and solves it. The mathematician and Evelyn get surprised by her genius. After the residency period passes, Mary goes to her home, and her uncle welcomes her. Then, Mary tells Frank that she loves her grandma Evelyn, but doesn't want to live with her because she is bossy, and Frank then promises her he won't leave her. On the second day in court, the judgment in Mary's custody case continues. Evelyn calls Mary's father, who has never seen his daughter one day, but he is present as a guardian of his daughter. At this time, 
Frank's lawyer proves that he is never her guardian, he had never seen her before, not even asked about her, and the judgment in Frank's favor. When Frank goes home, he tells Mary that he saw her father in court, but Mary is crying because her father doesn't even come to see her. Frank then takes Mary and Roberta to the hospital. He wants to show Mary something that makes her happy. There, they keep waiting for hours, but they don't know what Frank wants to show them. It seems that Frank waits to see a family with a pregnant daughter. When their daughter is born, they become so happy, and all celebrate in the hospital. Afterward, Frank tells Mary that this is exactly what happened the day she was born. Actually, they spend the night watching families celebrate their births in the hospital. And Mary celebrates with them because of her innocence. After several sessions in court, Frank's lawyer speaks to him and gives him an offer. He suggests entering Mary into a care home to be adopted by a suitable family. Frank becomes so nervous, but the lawyer asks him to help him, and says this is a suitable solution to satisfy both parties. The lawyer then warns Frank that the judge can make Evelyn win the trial, because she is rich and will give Mary a better life. After that, he asks Frank to think carefully about what he said and walks away. The next day, Frank agrees with the lawyer's opinion, and goes to meet a good family who wants to adopt Mary. He then agrees to make Mary under their care. After this, the trial ends without losing or winning for both parties. So, Frank takes Mary to her new home while she is crying. She asks him not to leave her alone, but he tells her that he will take her once a month to stay with him and Roberta. Then, when she grows up, she may choose to live with him. She is crying and tells him that he promises her that he will stay with her all the time. And now he breaks his promise. Frank comes to hug her, but she hits him while crying. And when he leaves, Mary screams that Frank will leave her alone. After a while, Bonnie goes to Frank and calms him down while he's working. He keeps talking about Mary and tells Bonnie about his upbringing with Mary. And he is so sad because they took her. In this time, Frank is so nervous and leaves Bonnie. But the next day, Bonnie finds Mary's cat up for adoption. And she takes a photo of the advertisement and sends it to Frank. Frank leaves his job and goes to the animal shelter. There, he knows that someone who is allergic to cats sent the cat. Frank makes sure that Evelyn is the one who did this because she is allergic to cats. And surely the people who took Mary belong to Evelyn. Frank and Roberta go to them and they find that Mary is staying with her grandma Evelyn. He asks Mary to come with him, but Mary refuses and runs outside the house. Frank leaves a notebook for Evelyn before he goes out to Mary. This notebook is written by Mary's mom, and Evelyn finds out that her daughter Diane solved Navier-Stokes' equation before passing away. Now, Evelyn's plan to the custody of Mary to solve the equation in the future fails. Outside, Frank hugs Mary. She beats him because he left her alone, but Frank says sorry, and promises her not to make it again. Mary cries and says they took her cat from her but Frank calms her down, and tells her that the cat is with him. Then, they go back to Evelyn, and Frank talks to her privately. Meantime, Evelyn says that Frank is lying to her. Also, she tells him if Diane really solved the equation, she would say it to the whole world. But Frank says that Diane told him before she died, not to publish this notebook until after the death of Evelyn. Evelyn is shocked, and Frank leaves her alone with the notebook. He then takes Mary and goes home. Although he wasn't supposed to give her the notebook, he did this for keeping Mary under his care. After a few minutes Evelyn opens the notebook and sees her daughter's tears on the notebook paper. She breaks down and starts to cry because she made her daughter depressed before her suicide. On top of that, she talks while crying to the mathematician to let the world know that her daughter Diane has solved the Navier-Stokes equation. After several months, Mary becomes a student at the university, although her young age. Frank then takes her after her lectures and they go to the kids' playground. There, she plays with her friend like the rest of the kids. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Big dog status, I'm a big dog, bit. I pull up on the